addition to this narration of Bukhari, he says that uh, from Ali, he says, by Allah, I have never left these things, this advice, since the Prophet wasallam told me this, never, not even one night. The narration of Muslim says, one of the people asked him, Wala Laylat al -Sufin? He says, not even, not even the night of Sufin, that big battle that you had. He says, not even that night of Sufin, I still mention that, the dhikr that Rasulullah told God to me. Look at this. Al Imam Amir al Mu'mineen, let's go fast because our time is over, inshallah. Lakin, I want to put a few things. Al Imam Amir al Mu'mineen used to help Fatima to Zahra in her daily chores at home. And their relation was a relation of when he comes to the house, obviously, you all know that the Nabi Mustafa, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, she was, when he looks at Fatima, you know, the narration, Ahmad, Imam Ahmad narrates in his Musnad. He says the last thing, the last home and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam st stops by before he leaves Medina is the house of Fatima. And the first home he comes to, when he comes to Medina is the home of Fatima. As if he looks at her face, he sees through her face the face of Khadija. He sees through her face the face of Iman and he smells from her the smell of Jannah. Naam. And therefore Imam Amir al mumineen when he enters the home Assalamu alaikum, he says. Yabnata Rasulullah. Look, honoring. You have given you a lesson that you have to honor your wife. And you have to say salam, not good morning. Good morning is okay, but say salam first. Oh, good evening is okay. You have a good day is okay. I like, can say as salam first. Assalamu alaikum. Don't exchange that with something else. Add, it's okay if you want to add and you have a good day and a nice day. No. Assalamu alaikum. And she would respond, Wa alayka salam ya abal hasan. Honoring him, honoring him, honoring her husband, that the wife's, that the wife gives her husband due honor, that she honors him, that she makes him feel special, and that he makes her feel special as well. But it should not be a tit for tat, because we always make mistakes, and the better one is the one who forgives. He says one time, he says, I smell a good smell here. What's going on? What is that? Acknowledging that when she's smelling good, when she's because lots of husbands, their wife, they do the best and they're still not there. Yeah, acknowledge. Acknowledge when she is wearing good things for you, when she's dressed up for you, when she's all these things for you, and vice versa. Yani the man also, Ibn Abbas mentions, I have no time to go into these rewires now. Ibn Abbas mentions that I dress for my wife and I take care of my because she's also a human being. She doesn't want to see you in your filthy situations, in your uh, uh, dirty conditions. She also is a soul that wants you to be also good. She wants you to look good just like you want her to look good. Uhada, you see it in the household of Fatima al Zahra, where he says, I smell a uh, good smell as if it is the smell of my cousin Rasulullah, your father. He honors her father. Because the daughter wants to feel that you honor, when you marry someone, you want to honor her family. You love her family, you respect her family. So she respects yours. Hmm? Don't want to go, we, we have many lessons that we work from here. Like in some other time, let me stop you here by a word that some of the ulama of the seerah mentioned about Amir al mumineen and his relation to Fatima al Zahra. He says, look at these words, and these words are very dear to me and dear to my heart. He says, Allah, by Allah, ma aghdabtuha. I have never upset her. Wala akrahduha ala amr. And I have never forced her to do anything. Wala aghdabatni. And by Allah, she never upset me. Wala asat liya amra. And she never disobeyed me. But the really emotional part here is this, the following sentence that he says. He says, Fawa Allah. لَقَدْ كُنْتُ أَنْظُرُ إِلَيْهَا When I used to look at her, تَنْكَشِفُ عَنِّي الْهُمُومُ وَالْأَحْزَانِ All my worries and all my sadness go immediately the minute I lay eyes on her. سلام الله عليه وَلَقَدْ كُنْتُ أَنْظُرُ إِلَيْهَا يقول إمام أمير المؤمنين When my eyes used to be laid on her, تَنْكَشِفُ عَنِّي الْهُمُومُ وَالْأَحْزَانِ all the worries and all the sadness immediately disappear. He looks at her. He says, Fawallah, I 
looks at her and all his worries disappear. In this house, and I'll finish with this narration by also some of the ulama of the seerah, they mentioned Imam al-Hasan, her son, as Zaki al-Mujtaba, Aba Muhammad. He mentions a shaheed. <coughs> and Imam al-Hasan, he says, I saw my mother fi laylati jumu'atiha, the night of the Jum'ah, sajidatan raki'ah, raki'ah sajidah. She is ruku' and sujood, hatta asbaha amud al-fajr, until the fajr time comes. And she is making dua for the mu'mineen and the mu'minat. And she, whoever she remembers the name, she names them by their name. All the time. Until the fajr time comes and she did not make dua for herself. So I asked her, I says, Ya oh ma, oh mother, I have heard you making dua for every single people that you know. And all the mu'mineen and the mu'minat. But you haven't made dua for yourself. She says, son al jaru thumm al dar The neighbor, then the self. The others, then the self. This was the personality of Fatima Duzara. Kanu qaleelan billayli ma yahja'oon. They used to only go to bed little, as Allah says, at night. Most of their night was tahajjud and salah and dua. Qaleelan billayli ma yahja'oon. Only little. They used to go at night to make, to make, to sleep. To sleep. Most of their night was for worship for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These homes, these are the homes that Allah means. Like the homes of Fatima in her own mihrab in her, at her home. Where she used to pray all these nights and all these days. Where Al-Hasan al-Basri rahimahullah says, I have this ummah has not known anyone who is more worshipping of Allah from the females than Fatima to Zahra. And she used to make Qiyam at night until her feet, honorable feet, used to be swollen. These are the homes of Fatima Ahl al-Bayt. This is the home of Fatima al-Zahra. Fi buyutin adhin Allahu an turfah. These homes that Allah willed to be raised. Wa yudhkara fi hasmu. And his name is mentioned in such homes. Yusabbihu lahu fiha bil wudu'i wal asal. Rijalun la tulhihim tijaratun wala. Wala bay'un an dhikrillah. These people in these homes make the speech and dhikr to Allah day and night. The call for one of us to learn is to make your home a masjid where Allah is mentioned in it. So your home can be raised as well. Is to imbibe from the nur of Fatima al Zahra, wa nur of Amir al Mu'minin Ali ibn Abi Talib. These humble qualities and these qualities that make you reach beyond the skies. So you can actually become Nurani and Fatimi in your approach and Fatimi in your ibadah and Fatimi in your love to Allah and Fatimi in your love to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Fatimi in your sacrifice for this deen and Fatimi in your simple life and Fatimi in being able to challenge the challenges the daily challenges of life yet have that glory that comes with this nur that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then called them إِنَّمَا يُرِيدُ اللَّهِ لِيُذْهِبَ عَنْكُمُ الرِّجِسَ أَهْلَ الْبَيْتِ وَيُطَهِرَكُمْ تَطْهِرَ That Allah wants only to purify you and remove any imperfections from you, O household of the Prophet. This was, this was a scene, little scene if you may allow me, not perfect, nor is it complete. It's even short of anything of the reality of that worship and the character and the real reality of who Fatima al Zahra was, and who Ali ibn Abi Talib was, and who was Al Hassan and Al Hussein, and how was the life inside this house that carried the best of the people on earth, and this house that will remain a guiding light, a star that lights for the people of heaven, not the people of earth only, for the people of heaven, what they should do till the day of judgment and then after. وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وآله والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته